Okay, hello students. Our topic of discussion for today will be about volume of revolution of the surface bounded by two curves and the x-axis or the y-axis about the x-axis or about the y-axis. And at the end of this topic, you are expected to find the volume of revolution of a surface bounded by two curves about the x-axis or about the y-axis. And you are expected to derive formulas for volume of what we call cylinder, cone, first term of a cone, and a sphere. Now first, let us try to see a revolution about the x-axis. Suppose you have given a region that is bounded by two curves, f and g, on the closed interval a comma b. Now, revolving this region about the x-axis will have such kind of solid figure. And the volume of this solid figure can be obtained by the formula pi, the integral of, from a to b of, the absolute value of f square x minus g square x dx. So this is the formula for volume of solid of revolution about the x-axis. When we come to volume of revolution about the y-axis, we have almost similar formula. It says volume equals pi integral from a to b, the absolute value of f square y minus g square y dy. And the difference between these two is that in the previous one, the revolution about the x-axis, the lower limit and the upper limits of integration a and b refers to the vertical lines x equals a and x equals b. But when we come to revolution about the y-axis, this a and b refer to the horizontal lines y equals a and y equals b. In the previous formula, we have f of x is whole square and g of x is whole square. That means in revolution about the x-axis, you are expected to express y in terms of x. But here it says f square y minus g square y. That means you are expected to express x in terms of y. So this is the difference between revolution about the x-axis and volume of revolution about the y-axis. Now let us see two examples. One about revolution about the x-axis and the other revolution about the y-axis. Example one says, find the volume of the solid generated when the region bounded by the lines y equals x and the horizontal line y equals 4 on the interval 1,3. This region, when it is revolved about the y, I mean the x-axis. As I have mentioned before, Volume of revolution about the x-axis is given by the formula pi integral from a to b of the absolute value of f of x the whole square minus g of x the whole square dx. Now our f of x is, you can take x to be f of x and g to be 4. So you can take f of x to be x and g of x to be 4. Therefore, volume equals pi times integral from a to b. Our a and b are 1 and 3. From 1 to 3, the absolute value of f of x is whole square, that means x square minus g of x is the whole square, 4 square dx. So we have the integral from 1 to 2 of the absolute value of x square minus 16 dx. Now here the question is, in the interval 1,2, which one is greater? Is x squared greater than 16 or 16 greater than x squared? Good. Obviously, in the interval, that means for every x in the interval 1,2, 16 is always greater than or equal to x squared. Therefore, the absolute value of x squared minus 16 will be 16 minus x squared because 16 is greater than or equal to x squared. Then after it is a matter of evaluating uh, this integral. The integral of 16 is 16x, that of x squared is 1 over 3, x cube. Evaluate this from 1 to 2. Then 
we have pi into 16 or x is 2 I, I mean it is not 2 rather it is 3 3 this is 3 this is 3 okay so if I get this from 1 to 3 we have 3 minus 1 minus 1 over 3 3 cube minus 1 cube so I have pi times 16 times 2 is 32 minus this is 27 minus 1 26 26 over 3 3 times 32 is 96 96 minus 26 is 70 so you have 70 over 3 pi this is the volume of this solid figure okay 70 over 3 pi let's pass to the second example find the volume of the solid generated when the region bounded by the graphs x equals 1 and x equals minus 1 over 5 y plus 16 over 5 between the horizontal lines y equals 1 and y equals 6 this is volume of revolution about the y-axis so our formula is volume equals pi times integral from a to b of f square y minus g square y or dy square dy now what are my f of y and g of y you can take one of them as f of y and the other g of y let f of y be one and g of y be minus one over five y plus 16 over 16 over 5 so pi integral a and b are obviously 1 and 6 the absolute value of g of y square 1 square minus negative 1 over 5 y plus 16 over 5 the whole square dy pi integral from 1 to 6 of 1 minus negative 1 over 5y plus 16 over 5 the whole square dy now let us apply integration by substitution let you represent this expression okay so from this the derivative of u will be negative 1 over 5 dy meaning dy is negative 5 du so the volume will be pi times integral from a to b when y is 1, negative 1 over 5 plus 16 over 5, 15 over 5, that is 3. And when y is 6, negative 6 over 5 plus 16 over 5, 10 over 5, which is 2. The absolute value of 1 minus, this is u, u square, u square du, dy. But dy is negative 5 du, negative 5 du. So... Take negative 5 out, negative 5 pi, integral from 3 to 2 of the absolute value of this one du. Or if you interchange the upper and lower limit of integration, we'll have negative 5, negative 1. So you'll have 5 pi, integral from 2 to 3 of the absolute value of this expression du. But in the interval 2, comma 3, why u square is always greater than 1 so the absolute value of 1 minus u square will be u square minus 1 du then after it is a matter of evaluating this definite integral the integral of u square this one minus the integral of 1 u evaluate from this from 2 to 3 5 pi times 1 over 3 5 pi over 3 so 3 cube minus 2 cube, 3 cube minus 2 cube minus 5 pi times u, 5 pi, my u, 3 minus 2, that is 5 pi over 3, 27 minus 8, that is 19, minus, this is 1, 1 times 5 pi, 5 pi, so I'll have uh, 5 times 19, 95, 95 pi, over 3 minus 5 pi now 3 times 5 pi 15 pi 95 pi minus 15 pi 80 pi 
80 pi over 3. This is the volume of the solid of a revolution about the y-axis.